Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Welcome to Ninja Tech. In this video, we will see a project based on CentOS 7 platform. So uh, the title of the project is that uh, FTP server configuration with user based authentication. So uh, FTP stands for uh, file transfer protocol that is utilized to transfer files. We can also upload or download files from this protocol for secure transmission that secure the username and password and encrypts the content. FTP is designed using a client server model that uses different data and control connections. It has been a standard method for transferring file between computer for decades. In this project we will transfer some files with user based authentication. Let me uh, elaborate the uh, FTP. So uh, FTP allows individuals and businesses to share electronic files with others without having to be in the same space. This can be done using an FTP client or through the cloud. Regardless of the option, both parties require a working internet connection. So make sure you have a, a working interconnect internet connection. We will show how to install and configure the FTP server and we will create new user for authentication purpose after that we will ping the FTP server to check whether it's working or not. So uh, the first step is to install the FTP server. For this I'm writing yum install FTP vs FTP minus y or you can say slash y. Now press enter. So uh, it is already installed in my case. So next step is to uh, open the configuration file. For this you can uh, use any method. I am using gedit slash etc vsftpd slash vstpd dot conf. Conf mean configuration. Now press enter. Now write maybe we have done some mistake uh, because uh, the file shouldn't be empty so let's close the file and de check the command yes we have done mistake we have written vstpd instead of vsftpd now press enter yes now we have opened the correct file anonymous enable is equal to no and uh, now search for ASCII yes here is it so uh, ASCII upload enable is equal to yes and ASCII download enable is equal to yes make sure both of these must be set to yes now find use local time yes uh, it is written at the end of the file if it is not written then write it by yourself use local time is equal to yes now save the file and close the file now the next step is to enable the FTP now the next step is to uh, enable the file transfer port protocol server for this I will write systemctl enable vs FTPD. Now press enter. Where VSFTPD is used as a FTP server. Now we need to install this. Uh, start this. For this, write start VSFTPD. Now press enter. Now we need to check the status. yes it is active and running now the next step is to add firewall rules for this I will write firewall now press enter so it is uh, showing me that you have already enabled now uh, write firewall minus cmd minus permanent minus add service is equal to FTP now press enter 
so in my case it is already enabled now write firewall minus cmd press enter now write set see bool minus p ftp slash home slash dir on now press enter so I have done mistake you have to write dir now press enter now the next step is to create username password for this write user add ninja ftp now press enter now password for this username you can write any username i am writing ninja ftp now set the password make sure that password must contain at least 8 letters So now uh, we, we have successfully set the password. Now the next step is to create file. Press enter. Now write ls. Yes, the username is created. We can clearly see ninja ftp. Now write make directory folder 1 we are creating the folder now we are in folder 1 now write touch file 1 now the next step is to write if config now press enter so if config is used to see your IP address or your net mask broadcast similar settings to these. So in my case the IP address is 10.0.2.15. In your case whatever it is you need to remember this. We will access our uh, this folder folder 1 and the uh, file 1 which is located in folder 1 from uh, uh, client side so uh, now we will do client side configuration so for client side open the file explorer and then click on the uh, this pc and then uh, double click on this pc icon now write ftp colon double slash and your ip address which we had discovered before using ip config if config now press enter so it is raising error ftp folder error windows cannot access this folder make sure that you have typed the file name correctly and that you have permission to access them okay so got it so uh, there is a permission error so to this problem you can have two solutions so uh, let's try solution number one open the internet options and uh, go in the advanced and uh, then this one then uh, make sure that use passive FTP uh, for firewall and DSL modem capability uh, must be unchecked so uh, in my case it is already unchecked so I will uh, click on the apply and then uh, I will click on the ok we will apply the solution number two which is that we will check whether our IPs are of same uh, network so uh, our IP so uh, the IP of our CentOS machine belongs to class A let's check the IP of Windows so for this we will go to command prompt and then uh, we will simply write ipconfig in centos machine uh, in linux 
we write if config and in windows we write ip config for ip address so yes there is a fault that uh, in this case the ip address is 192.168.100.178 it means that the windows ip belongs to class c and uh, in centos our ip belongs to class a so uh, we have to match these ips so now we will change the uh, centos ip to class c for this uh, you need to go to the centos and you can see uh, this three dotted icons click on this and now uh, click on uh, your first and pause and uh, then click on the wide setting now we will go to this uh, so yes uh, it is class A we need to change it uh, you can change it manually so now uh, I am writing the class C IP address and the net mask for this 255.255.0 now apply this and now enable disable and then again enable this now it is saved so uh, yes now it is 192.168.100.128 now we will check this from uh, if config now press enter now you can see that uh, the IP is changed 192.168.100.128 now uh, we will again go to the windows and uh, after clicking on this PC now click on the icon double click on the, this icon this PC icon now write FTP The, and now write the IP which we have discovered before dot hundred dot 128 and then uh, the backlash now press enter so yes the uh, solution number two worked now uh, enter your username in my case the username was ninja FTP and now enter the password now click log on so it is asking me for allow access yes allow access so uh, that's how you can access the uh, uh, folders uh, using file transfer protocol I hope you understand thank you so much for watching hope to see you in the next video till then take care